Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we're going to be doing something fun. We will be painting up this incredible Kingdom Collection Carnotaurus bust. This is a bust that I believe might be coming out at some point. I think it might be a little bit bigger. I'm not too sure. Don't hold me to that. I don't have all the information on it. But I do believe this is a bust that will be coming from the Kingdom Collection at some point in the near future. This was actually sent to me very, very kindly by my good friends Marco Makes Sora and Alex, who are the geniuses behind the Kingdom Collection. This was sent to me again a little while ago just as a gift because they are incredible friends and they know I love Carnotaurus, so what a better way to celebrate the addition of this beautiful Carnotaurus bust to my collection than painting it up for you guys here with a video. And I'm actually going to basically show you how I'm painting it as we go along. So the first color we're going to be using is Chestnut to begin giving it the brownish coloration that you see in Fallen Kingdom. And that's the color that I'm going to give it. I'm going to kind of try to go with the Jurassic World type coloration because I just really like that. I considered doing the Dominion kind of Demon Carnotaurus like look but I just really, really love that Dominion color scheme. So let's go ahead and get started on it. So we've got the chestnut brown coloration on here. We have a nice coating of it for the majority of the figure, except for like the underside here of the throat. Uh, originally what I had, I forgot totally to mention it, but I had given it a base coat in territorial beige. So that was the color that you originally saw on it. Next, we're going to add this burnt sienna color because this is going to continue to get us closer to kind of like that reddish brown type of a look that you see on the Carnotaurus from Fallen Kingdom. So let's go ahead and get that on there. Now what I'm going to do is kind of just add it sporadically. Like I'm not going to completely coat the model over with it because I want some of the other brown to kind of shine through and that's how we're going to continue to give it kind of more of a lifelike look with alternate variations of skin tone whereas if you just paint one solid you know tone of this over it's going to all then be that color and here it's going to look a little more natural I would think than the other way by kind of giving us some alternate coloration throughout. Now that we have that done, we're going to go ahead and add some burnt umber, which obviously you can see this bottle has been used a lot, it's really beat up, but we're going to add some burnt umber to start to darken the browns a little bit. Also I should mention that this uh, burnt umber is pretty watered down overall, so it's not going to be very thick when I'm applying it, it helps to make it a little more natural. You can also probably notice that I'm kind of dry brushing a good bit of it on, not just like blasting it like I was with the other colors, because it's really going to help to highlight a lot of the scales that we have here on the Carnal Taurus. So we've now got that kind of like reddish brown type of a look to the skin of our Carnal Taurus. Next I'm going to be adding some of this ripe tomato just to a few certain areas because there's some areas that kind of have like a really reddish look to them. So uh, I'm just going to kind of add that sporadically throughout the model. Thank you. 
to continue to add a little bit more color to our Carnotaurus, similar to what we see in uh, Fallen Kingdom. We're also going to add some raw sienna and some really, really, really tiny areas of uh, golden sunset, just like some very small spots of a little tiny bit of yellow. Next, we're going to add some pewter gray to the lower part of the throat down here. You're not going to see it too well, but it's definitely a coloration that the Carnotaurus has as far as like a grayish tone for the underside, so we'll get that on there. So now we're going to apply black. Yep, pretty simple, but obviously the Carnotaurus has quite a bit of black on it in the film, so let's go ahead and get that started. Also this black as well has been watered down so it applies in a little bit of a smoother way. So we've got the black all over the place on our Carnotaurus as best as I could get it to kind of resemble the Carnotaurus from Fallen Kingdom. The next thing we're going to do is take some pavement gray and we're going to paint the horns of our Carnotaurus. So we've got that finished and the next thing we're going to do is take some of this pewter gray again and we're going to very lightly dry brush over many of the different areas of the black as well as the horns there to kind of highlight the scales as best we can in a realistic way. I'd say that the carnal taurus is looking pretty decent I guess the next thing we're going to do is paint the inside of the mouth with lilac mist and then we'll add some color variation from there 
Now what I'm basically going to do is apply this lilac mist through the entire mouth. Because it's got some areas that are a little bit tricky to get to, I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera just so I don't mess it up, and then we'll come right back. So now I'm going to add some variations of pinks with this light pink. Also some Tuscan red is going to be dry brushed in some certain areas on the inside of the mouth to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. Again, because this is a little bit of a complicated spot with so much going on in there, I'm going to do this off of camera. So I went ahead and painted the teeth. I painted the teeth with this raw sienna near the gum line and then transitioned or attempted to transition smoothly to this toasted marshmallow, which is a satin acrylic paint. And I feel like the Carnal Taurus is officially finished and I'm actually pretty happy with the results so far. What I need to do yet is to apply a dull coat over top. I'm actually going to use a dull coat that I use at Walmart. I've purchased it from Walmart a few times and I kind of like the way it looks. I used to use the uh, testers dull coat all the time but I've recently transitioned over to this one a little bit more and this is what it looks like. I've been using this to seal my models lately because even though it gives it that kind of matte finish it also has a slight gloss to it sort of like not even really much of a gloss but a slight shine and I really like the way it uh, highlights all of the detail and just makes it look a lot more realistic and lifelike I think. So I'm going to go ahead, spray this down, and then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the final product. And here is the final product, the Carnot Taurus now fully finished and painted up and looking pretty nice for the most part. Again, the sculpt is phenomenal, absolutely incredible sculpt from Marco Makes, but I try never to judge my paintwork on things because I feel like it's not really fair for me to say whether I did a good job or not. That would be up to you guys, I guess, in the comments section to let me know if you think it turned out nice or if I should uh, have tried to do a little bit of a better job, I guess, but I actually am pretty happy with it. I feel like it turned out decent enough for the most part and, you know, I, in my opinion, looks fairly reminiscent to the Carnal Taurus from Fallen Kingdom and then of course you have the Awesome Kingdom Collection logo right there which is always absolutely incredibly cool to have on these to really highlight the fact that this is a Kingdom Collection bust and is now actually my second Kingdom Collection bust as I already have a Velociraptor Blue in my collection. I now have this awesome Carnal Taurus which of course is my favorite dinosaur of all time and again just looking it over look at how incredible the sculpting and detailing is on this Carnal Taurus. Marco and Alex Kendrick are absolutely killing it when it comes to the Kingdom Collection. Again, this is something that will be available for purchase from the Kingdom Collection at some point in the near future, so definitely keep an eye out for that if you would like to grab one of these for yourself. But again, let me know down in the comments section what you guys thought of my paintwork. Hopefully it was pretty decent, I guess, and hopefully it did the sculpt justice. So let me know in the comments section, and also like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.